So now we are going to discuss the second task, second writing task uh, in the CLBPT writing part. So the second part is, it has a lot of uh, worth of marks because it's an, it's, an, it's an essay. It's an opinion essay to be specific. So in an opinion essay, um, there would be two things to, I won't say compare and contrast, but two things to compare and write your opinion about or which one do you prefer more. But always remember the trick here is if you choose, for example, there is option A and option B. If you choose, if you choose option A, yes, you will write why you chose op option A, what are its benefits, what are its advantages. But you should not forget or we should not forget to write about option B as well. So most of the students, what they do is they, they write the essay, they write about option A, but they forget about option B altogether. Like they don't write anything about option B. So we have to write about both the options. But the thing is, we would write more about the option which we chose. To give a perspective, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just give you a sample question. For example, nowadays, a lot of people prefer coffee more than tea. What do you think about this trend? So there are two options here. Nowadays, a lot of people prefer coffee instead of tea. What do you think about this trend? So in effect, the question is question is placing two options, option A and option B. What are they? Option A, coffee, and option B, tea. So in, in effect, what we are writing is which one we prefer and why. So which, which one do you prefer? It's a coffee or tea? Which one? Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, coffee. 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 Now I'll explain another tricky thing. So, first I will explain, okay, let's keep this in mind, coffee and tea, and I'll explain now how the structure of the essay looks like. So, any essay should have three content or the three components of essay. You know what it is. What, is, what are they? Introduction, Introduction body, body conclusion. and conclusion. The only thing here is, here we have two aspects to discuss, option A and option B. So we will have two body paragraphs here. One body paragraph to describe what are the benefits of the one we chose. For now, let's say coffee. And another body paragraph to say the benefits of tea. So in effect, we are looking at four paragraphs. Introduction. Body one, which is describing the advantages of option A and why we like it. Second body paragraph, which is the third paragraph to describe the benefits of option B, which is T. And finally, conclusion. Now, a preferred way or my tip or trick to do this is once we get the question, make like a cross and on the left hand side write option a the one which you it, this is a rough work before the essay it's to prepare for writing the essay so draw a cross and on the left hand side top left hand side write coffee and the right side write top right side write tea and then in the space below under coffee put one, number it, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And on the right hand side, number it till three, one, two, three. So what you're doing is, you're going to think about what are the advantages of coffee, why you like coffee, and you need five good, specific, different points about that. So we are planning for the essay. The other section, we would write, it's, we just need three, three main points explaining the advantages of tea. 
Now, when we prepare this, we will sometimes we understand that we just love coffee. I can't find five different advantages of coffee, but I can find I can find more positive points for tea, right? For example, tea is healthy. Tea has a lot of flavors. Uh, there is green tea, which is very medicinal. Then um, what else? You can. On the other hand, on the other hand, about coffee, what we know is, oh, I like coffee. It gives me energy, or like I like the taste of it. That's it. But on the other hand, we we kind of like see that there are we can write more points for tea. In that case, if this if this happens during the planning phase, now again we are not looking for truth here. So just shift your focus. Just say that you okay, you love tea, and write you know like five specific points explaining each point. So now here, what we do is during the planning phase, we are just writing the points so that we don't forget while we write the essay. But we have to explain each and every point in the paragraph. So we are looking at five points here, but we are not writing five sentences. We are explaining each point. Maybe one point for one point, we would be explaining in ten, two or three sentences. So we are looking at about twelve to fifteen sentences in body paragraph one. So it's a big, big paragraph for body paragraph one. So again, going back to the structure of the essay, I would say introduction, which is four or five sentences. Topic connecting the topic with people, general things about the topic. First body paragraph is the one we chose, which we have you know the maximum amount of points, and we are writing about twelve to fifteen sentences over there. Body paragraph two is explaining option B, maybe say five to six or seven to eight sentences over there. It's a considerably small paragraph compared to body paragraph one. And finally, conclusion where you wrap things up and you say there are advantages for both option A and option B advantages. Like there are merits for both tea and coffee, but you personally prefer dash. Sometimes you might have written coffee, or sometimes you might have uh, you know like written about tea. So you say, but personally, I prefer tea mainly because of these these reasons. Just just write two reasons which you have already written in body paragraph one. So, um, so to come back to body paragraph one again, I am telling I'm, I'm the preparation aspect of it is in a separate paper. It's a rough paper altogether. It's not part of your essay. We are just preparing for the essay, and it shouldn't take more than three minutes. So we are looking at about seventeen to twenty minutes to complete this opinion essay. Three minutes you can dedicate for planning the essay. And uh, almost fifteen to seventeen minutes to execute the planning.